Stay tuned, welcome back to another of my videos. Today what I'm gonna be doing is I am going to be talking about my thoughts and my opinions on the brand new Switch. So Nintendo announced the brand new Switch this week. Well, technically last week when I put the video up. But there was rumors for a while that there would be a brand new Switch revision and I guess that this was it. I didn't really follow the leaks and rumors too much because I, I keep an eye on them, but I don't really believe a lot of them. I just kind of be like, ah, we'll see when Nintendo announces it. Cause uh, usually you have big expectations for Nintendo and they just don't quite hit it. So I think it's just better to be a bit wary of leaks and rumors, especially around Nintendo, but also kind of around Sony and Microsoft as well. So in this video, I'm just going to be running down a couple of bullet points that I've typed up, just about kind of thoughts I have around it and whether or not I'll be getting one. So my first point is I kind of view the Switch OLED model as like a slight upgrade, a bit like the original chunky DS, to the DS Lite. There was no actual under the hood like hardware changes. It did improve upon the original DS, but it did not add like additional power. Same case here, you know, it had, has improved the Switch's screen, but it hasn't done anything under the hood. So games will perform the exact same as they do on the OG Switch to the OLED Switch. It's sort of more of an upgrade for new owners because existing owners will probably have already settled with these little issues that the Switch has or They'll have rectified them. For example, uh, we've got a new kickstand. You know, a lot of people that use the kickstand either bought a case for their Switch that had a kickstand or they just, <laughs> like me, refuse to use the kickstand on their Switch because mine keeps breaking. Mine's broke like twice now. <laughs> it's got double memory, which is good. 64 on board's great, um, as opposed to the 32 that we have on the OG Switch. A lot of people that have a Switch have definitely bought an SD card because you need to have it. I put a 32 gig SD card in my Switch at the very start and it's just starting to fill now. So I'm probably gonna upgrade to 128 gig at some point in the future. Then of course there's a larger OLED screen. The Switch always had that bezel. I've just kind of got used to it. I don't mind up in a bezel, but I know for people that really didn't like the bezel, the OLED will fill that bezel. And then there's a dock with an ethernet port. For the OG Switch, you can buy the dongle that plugs the ethernet in. If you're like serious about playing Smash online and stuff, you probably have that. But it's cool for, for new members of like the Switch kind of club <laughs> people who are buying the Switch for the first time. It's cool that they'll be able to get a dock where they can plug straight in and hopefully get some better connection to those eh, kind of okay Nintendo servers. <laughs> and then it also says the new Switch has improved audio. I don't really have any audio, audio issues with the current Switch, but it, it again, it's another nice feature that, that it has if you want to upgrade or if you are a new Switch owner. I think that the OLED display is an excellent choice um, for the Switch and for modern gaming. A lot of people are starting to game on OLED TVs, which I mean, I understand completely because an OLED screen, it, once you see it, it's hard to go back to LCD because it's just, it's a very nice display. All the colors are very punchy. The blacks are proper black. Like it's, it's nice and punchy. For example, I've been using an OLED screen since about 2011, 12. When I got the Vita, this is my OG Vita and it has an OLED screen and it looks absolutely incredible. The original Vita is still one of the nicest gaming systems I've personally ever looked at. The screen is awesome. I wish I could show it to you guys, but there's no point in showing it to you over a screen because you're just not gonna see it. But if you ever get a chance to play the OG Vita, or this new OLED Switch, you will be blown away with the quality because games will look gorgeous. I can imagine like games like Super Mario Odyssey that has a lot of like bright colors and stuff. I'm just thinking about, you know what level in Mario Odyssey where it's like the old school Mario in New Dunk City? That'll look good in the OLED, 100%. I do actually mainly play my Switch in handheld mode. I very, very rarely dock my Switch. Only really dock my Switch if I want to play a game in this room at night because my dock is behind my TV because I don't, I don't like how the dock looks. So I, I very, very, very rarely would do that. Usually if I'm in here, I'm playing one of my other consoles. So for me personally, this would be an upgrade because all of the things that the Switch OLED model improves upon revolves around handheld play and using the Switch as a handheld system. As a docked user, if you are like a mainly docked user, you will not be getting 
any upgrades at all. Which I suppose sucked for people who were like waiting for that 4K. You know, if you're a docked user, you probably do have a really good TV. I just use that TV there, which is a 24 inch. So obviously for me, playing a Switch in handheld mode makes more sense. But if I had an OLED TV and I had 4K and stuff, I would probably want my consoles to do the same thing. I completely get where people are coming from with that. The only issues I have had in my Switch is obviously I had Joy-Con drift, but I got that. I got the stick replaced and I put these little like thumb caps. If you can see on my Joy-Con, I have like these little caps over them. That's to stop dirt getting in to maybe try and prevent Joy-Con drift again. And of course, another issue I have had with my Switch is playing it outside. During the lockdown, I actually spent a lot of time out in the sun and the garden and stuff. We had a lot of nice days during 2020 in the summer and it was nice to just get out. So I would, you know, me and the dog would be out. I'd be lying playing Animal Crossing, but I'd always have to look for shade because of the glare. The Switch screen is terrible in sunlight, and I don't know if the OLED model is actually going to approve upon that. For something handheld, it, it should fare better in sunlight, but it doesn't. So the OLED might fix this. I don't think it will because my OG Vita was never very good in sunlight either, but it was definitely better than what the Switch was. So we'll see if there is any glare with that. I really like the white Joy-Cons and the white dock. I just think it all looks very stylish. And the dock is way nicer than the OG Switch dock, which just looks like a brick, which is why it's hidden behind my TV. I'm sort of hoping they'll sell the white Joy-Cons separately. I think I am in the market for new Joy-Cons because I, I, as I said, I been rocking the same Joy-Cons for like four years. It would be nice to get some white Joy-Cons. Uh, white and black is like an aesthetic that I love, which is why I actually love the design of the PlayStation 5 so much. So having a white and black Switch would also just tie in. Like if I have a game room, the aesthetic is going to be white and black 100%. So yeah, really like the color scheme that they went with. Another thing that I really like about the OLED uh, Switch model is the fact that Nintendo are releasing it around Metroid Dread. You know, if you're on the market, if you're buying a new console, you're gonna wanna buy new games with it. So I think it'll help boost the sales of Metroid, which is really, really, really good. I'm really hoping that Metroid Dread does sell well because I know how much Metroid fans love the series and really wanna see Nintendo put more effort into it. But I think it, it is good that Nintendo are trying to boost the sales of Metroid. And I, I think that'll be reassuring for the Metroid fans to see um, as well. Now, I do think that a 4K Switch will come at some point. I, I don't think Nintendo are just never going to do 4K because a lot more people have 4K TVs and it does make sense for games to run at a higher resolution because that's what people want. And I think that with that 4K and better performance, those are two things that will definitely come in probably the next Switch. I think this is the last like kind of revision model. And I think that we're moving now into kind of Switch 2 territory within the next two years. It could also be like, you know, the 3DS and the new 3DS kind of thing. And I think that's where I'll upgrade my Switch. I think that if they do release like a new Switch with exclusive games that's got better performance in 4K, that'll be something I buy because that's an upgrade. And hopefully it'll have the OLED screen and all of the things that makes the Switch OLED model sound cool at the minute. I think that people kind of hyped up the rumors and kind of got themselves excited. And I think that if people hadn't hyped up these rumors so much, like the Switch OLED model would have just come as like a pleasant little surprise for Nintendo fans. As much as I would like the OLED screen, as much as I would like the fancy white Joy-Cons, I am overall really, really, really happy with my current Switch that I've had since 2017. So I think I'll hold on to that model a bit more. It's still got a good bit of life in it and I will upgrade my Switch when they do their next revision. The Switch Pro. <laughs> I don't think it'll be called that. I think it'll be called the new Nintendo Switch. Or they could call it the Nintendo Switch U. But that is my opinions, my thoughts on the brand new Switch OLED model. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the, in, in the comment section below. Are you gonna buy it? Do you like the white Joy-Cons? And what's your opinion on the neon Joy-Cons? Do you think they look cool? Or are you in the same camp as me where you think they just look tacky? But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please a big thumbs up and also subscribe to love and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video.